Hello everybody and welcome to this video. Today we are going to be taking this TL8 Takeuchi that we have here and we are going to be taking the air filter out and cleaning that out uh, as part of daily service. Uh, so what you're going to first do uh, is take and open up the hood just like so and then there is the store that opens with this latch on the inside. Um, you open that all up until it locks into place. Uh, and then we have um, four bolts that we need to take out in order to access our air cleaner, which is behind here. I've already done the liberty of taking a few of these out. Uh, I used um, a, I believe it was an 18 millimeter, let me double check. Excuse me, 19 millimeter um, on this uh, larger ones. There is um, one that's right here, and then the second one is right here. We take those two out, and then with a smaller uh, 17 millimeter wrench and an extension, uh, I took out um, the second, or excuse me, the third bolt already. Um, but once we take off the first two bolts, this allows us to take and open up the radiator and give us a little bit more better access. To further give us better access, we're going to take off the uh, bolt right here on the bottom, on this top. I recommend leaving this bolt here in just a little bit because it's actually quite difficult to put this back on uh, for whatever some reason. Uh, but to continue with the removal of the air filter canister, we can now do that by undoing the one snap on one side. We have a second snap over here, or wherever it was exactly where they had put it back on, because you can twist and turn that. Uh, but it should be put back on like this. There's even a little sticker that says up. Uh, and inside we have our air filter. And to give it just a little wiggle. So I take my bottom bolt already out, all the way out. Uh, well, if we pull it straight out, and on top of that, as I just pulled it straight out, you can see there is a second filter, as is your inner ca air cap filter. Take your finger, uh, take this inner air filter out, and just move it on the inside, just like that, and grab it with the yellow ring, because otherwise it's going to stick out, and now you have to replace the whole thing. But when you do want to replace it, this is your inner inner cab air filter and we're going to blow air from the inside out not a lot of dust on that one which is a good sign that means our outer air filter has captured most of our custom debris, so we're going to roll this out in the same fashion, except this might take a little bit longer. But anytime you do a lot of dusty work that involves sweeping, milling, any kind of uh, activity where you are really putting a lot of dust in the air, um, it's highly recommended that you blow your air filter out, I would say at least once a week. So they got the marks here of 619 of a date. So uh, June last year is when they changed the sale filter. It was brand new then. So at least whoever the mechanic was on this one was smart enough to put marks on it like that. Uh, as far as this one here, there's no marks on this one. So I don't know when exactly this one was changed out. I don't see no numbers, no dates, nothing like that. But it is the Donaldson uh, P780024, uh, apparently it's made in Turkey. It does have a date on it, uh, 4, 14, 5, 19, right here, so I'm not quite sure if that's going to really do me any good. Uh, and now this is the part where we do not want to be blowing anything until we get our um, 
inner cab filter back in. Cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and set this off to the side. Uh, this is in place. Popped in secure, this is flush. I'm now going to blow. That's nice and clean. That's nice and clean. Nice and convenient little hanger there. Thanks, Tuki Takeuchi. Uh, place the air filter back over the inner cab air filter. Make sure you pull out on the radiator fan guard. And push it in, make sure it's nice and snug. Alright. Alright, so now that our Air filter's nice and snug. We're gonna take our air canister, make sure the up is actually facing up when we place it back in. Snap one side, and now uh, the other side is down here. Caution labels are on the top, up says up. So now I'm going to take this plate and I have to push it with one hand very hard, and I have to kind of push it down. It's actually like it's kind of bent for some reason. I don't know if this is how it's all made, but this is how this one's always been ever since I had to service it, so there's the one nut. You really don't have to go crazy tightening it down. I mean, get snug. Don't go nuts. Okay, and so the second one, go ahead and get it on there. And start cranking. Okay, so we'll put that bolt back in. And we have our second bolt right here. It's in its hole. These ones don't have a problem. These ones are nice. These ones go back in their home like butter. That's it, that's how you blow out the air filter on the side. Take Uchi. So yeah everybody, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, like and subscribe, and uh, stay safe out there.